Fernand Schneewitz the third junior. Kev, what's your favorite John Candy movie of all time? I personally love Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Myself. I'm an Uncle Buck guy. Are you Uncle Buck? I do Stripes love... is good. Stripes is a classic. Is what that um, is. think I told how about story, spring break I, I told the story where he showed up at the, at the lakers games like he would show up when we when we ran the forum and candy would show up in like a trench coat and we'd stand back there and like, hey can i get in he'd come watch us wrestle oh when you guys would, yeah, would wrestle we at the, the forum? forum yeah we work at the forum the first time he did it, we're like, you know, he's like, you know, got, a, got like a long coat on, like unseasonably warm coat. And he's like, can I get in? We're like, fuck yeah, man. So like the back entrance, he would come in, the wrestler's entrance? Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> right. You could have done the <laughs> oh, uh, Wally oh, World to him. Yep. That's brilliant. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Somebody should have. That would have been really funny. Yeah. He'd have really, you know, he'd have probably really popped. <laughs> you could see it in his eyes. Yeah. He was really wanting somebody to fucking make it more of a painful fucking transition to get in the back door than, <laughs> than, than possible. <laughs> okay, guys, fuck it, man. I don't want to go now. Was he a weirdo? Kind no, of like... he was cool. He probably just had enough. I swear there are times that I, I just, I'm, I'm invisible and then there was Sunday night coming through the Atlanta airport. And it was like, I guess because, like, when you go out and you do an, an autograph signing, uh-huh. and it's just not yourself, but there's nobody in the entire arena that makes any money. And. Even though you're told that you made more than anyone else, um, you're like, "Wow, man! Like, I need to do something. Like, I need to. I need to do a movie. I need to do something. Maybe I should have showed up at Sting's match. No, uh, but uh, you know, you're saying to yourself, like, "Fuck, man! Like, I, you know." And then you're like, fuck it. I'm just, fuck, you're getting old, man. The run's over. Then you go through the airport and, like, not kidding, you take 45 selfies between B4 and D14. Mm. <laughs> you know, you're just like, fuck. Okay, well, I guess it's just Louisiana just ain't my cup of tea. Mm. So... Well, there. Do you ever have anonymity in an airport, Kevin? You know, a big part of your problem is is your size. You know, that's what she said. Some ca- oh, some cats could you know throw on sunglasses, a hat, and kind of slink around. But, yeah, but there's other times I walk through. I just think that that Sunday, that late Sunday vibe, and there's you know you look up at the fucking uh, departure board, and there's maybe thirty five flights that still got to go out, and it's just. I think it's because it's kind of chill, and it's a slower pace. Mm. So, mm. I had two hours in between my flights. So it was. I went to Fridays and had the chicken breast, Korean mm-hmm. barbecue sauce, mashed potatoes, and broccoli slaw, mm. with a athletic, non-alcoholic. Ah, uh, the beverage we IPA. talked about. 